Here is now one interesting slide I've been working on for a really long time, but I think it gives a good overview of the possible configurations. Now with the introduction of electronic reporting and CPDs, there are different possibilities how to design your report data sources and report templates, and we want to show all these possibilities in one place. At the beginning, there was SSRS. This bottom line represents its path of execution. You are all familiar with this. Something was provided by Microsoft, then partners implemented the required data source customizations, and this data source was traveling happily, was combined with the SSRS template, and was directed to the SSRS print destinations. And why is this white box here important? Well, now with the introduction of electronic reporting plus CBDs, this point is deciding if the execution will follow through SSRS or through CBDs. Where exactly is that point of decision? If we take a look at this print management setup for purchase order, for example, you all know this field report format. Until you start using CBDs and register some CBD for your report, you will here see only the SSRS format. By registering the CBD format, you will get it also in this list. And by selecting SSRS or CBD format, you are basically telling the D365 to continue your execution through SSRS or, as we will see later when we start explaining the point three above, to go through a completely different path. In this starting configuration, there are a few pain points that were obvious from the very beginning. First, you need the developers if you want to customize your data source. Second, you need also the developers if you want to customize your template designs. And finally, I needed to do this really because this was my first association I had when I think about the standard SSRS print destinations. They are very old and nothing has been done on improving them in standard D365. The Centric recognized these points and recognized that the most painful one was the middle one. And we decided to answer to that pain by providing our template designer, which is an add-on for Microsoft Word. That is the core of our Decentric AX solution for D365, and it is a very mature product, which came to the market already 10 years ago. Obviously not for D365, but for any .NET application. We identified the problem with AX 2012, already integrated our solution with it, and later with D365. And after that, based on what we have been learning from our clients, it was confirmed how big pain this really was, but we also got to learn that the print destination pain was also huge. We took it on ourselves to start improving D365, particularly its document generation and distribution. Those among you who are familiar with our product already know that with every new release, we are bringing more and more improvements in this segment. So this is what the Centric Enhanced SSRS is doing. It comes in two flavors, free and full version. The difference between them is that with the full version, you are able to design your templates in our designer and to use them through the report execution. Part of our free version are these really greatly improved print destinations. The Centric print destinations, similar to SSRS print destinations, are the ones that are configured on the common print destination form as we know it, and therefore is applicable to every print management setup. I'm mentioning this because, as we will see later, this will not be the case with electronic reporting. And our template designer, core of our full version, gives you really a great user experience and highly increases your productivity while developing and testing the designs. Let's now see how the CBDs are falling into this image. Remember that print screen of print management form from the beginning of this slide, where I said if you select CBD format, then D365 will route the execution through a completely different path. This is that path. Which problems is Microsoft solving here? They wanted to solve all the three pain points. The first programming part for the report data sources they addressed by providing the electronic reporting configurations. Through them, you're able to model your report data source and to map it to the application data sources. And this is what we have to say about it. 
great job in identifying the problem and really good job in solving the problem. This is a very, very powerful thing. You can do probably whatever you want. But the cost of it is that the tool is really very complex and UI is really not great. As we will see later, later it is a print management style of the form and user experience, so I think that's enough to be said. Then the second pain, and that is report design, that needed to be done by developers, Microsoft addressed by CBD formats. And here we think that the job wasn't done well. First of all, the solution is still buggy, but even if and when the bugs will be resolved, this will remain. If I have already started using animals, this one mostly represents my personal opinion on the way how dealing with CBD formats will look like. I will demonstrate some of it and let you decide for yourself if I am right. And finally, in order to address this dinosaur, Microsoft has introduced a completely new set of print destinations. They call them electronic reporting destinations. They partially succeeded with this move. They did improve the print destinations very slightly. There is one cool thing, you can select multiple print destinations at once, but they ruined many other things and we will comment that along. Therefore, this would be my verdict of this solution for print destinations. Notice one important thing here. Due to the completely different execution path, it is not possible to use the centric improved print destinations available with our free version in the combination with CBDs. The docentric improved print destinations are in detail presented in previous webinar, and we will later quickly check the top three. And finally, how does the centric fall into this picture? Well, we figured out why not use the good part of electronic reporting and combine it with the rest good things that come with the centric, our template designer, improved print destinations, and all the other improvements that we bring to D365. So let's see now how does this fourth execution pipeline look like. You still, in your print management, have to select the SSRS format. It will route the execution through the centric. Based on this docentric setup, the centric will figure out have you selected the docentric template for CBD data source or the docentric template for SSRS data source. And if CBD format is in the game, the centric will go to electronic reporting to pick up the correct model as configured in the centric setup. You will be able to design your electronic reporting model and mapping. The centric knows to execute that model. We will combine the resulting data source with our template and go through our document generation to our known print destination. And just to complete this path, you will also have this blue happy face. To summarize in one place the electronic reporting and configurable business documents deficiencies mentioned during the previous slide. Depending on what matters to you, they can be a huge pain. These are the most frustrating points of this solution, according to our opinion. First, and really important, CBDs are complex. They come with a little and poor documentation, the technology is still immature and often unstable. User experiences, well, we will see that during the live presentation. You will get the print management-like forms as your main user interface for designing the data models and bindings. Buttons are on unexpected places. Sometimes you have to search for them everywhere around and ask your colleagues for help. UI is very non-intuitive and any actions on it, simply everything needs a lot of improvement. Some electronic reporting print destinations have been missing initially. In particular, I mean printer print destination and print as PDF functionality. But they have been introduced recently with platform update 33. The way how they are solved technologically comes with its performance consequences and also usability consequences. For example, saving to PDF is solved as additional checkbox to printing whatever is a default print format. So you will always get both, for example, Excel and PDF, which is not so nice if you want to email the invoice, it will have attached both Excel and PDF. 
And in our first tests, uh, the PDF had a strange square format, but probably that will be solved. We noticed one more important limitation. Direct printing from electronic reporting assumes PDF conversion, which doesn't support custom fonts, including the barcode fonts. Preview original or copy is not available. It executes equally as print through print management. The reason for that is that you always get what is configured in electronic reporting destination, so there is no way to, for example, perform a quick check on a screen for done batch situations and then maybe download or print directly from the preview. CBDs are applicable only to print management reports. We can't use them for some other often used reports, for example, product route card. You know that there are about 1,000 SSRS reports, while only about 40 of them are print management. So CBDs are applied to those 40 print management reports. As another consequence of the alternative path for electronic reporting, you can't have multiple print management setups, like original copy, special groups, override on the vendor or customer account with different print destinations because print management print destination is simply ignored and electronic reporting print destination is used. Designing electronic reporting configurations and CBD templates is really difficult with tons of open questions which we will discuss in more details later. As a matter of fact, <laughs> the experience is so frustrating that we think it will be a showstopper. When you need to add a new field, not to mention some really complex data to the report, you will need to make modifications everywhere in the data model and model mapping, in the format and on the template, then run it. And if you don't get anything out or you get the wrong results, what are you going to do then? I really don't know. You can't test configuration separately. You will still need a developer, but this time he's not going to be there to develop or customize your data source or formats, but he will be needed to debug the execution of your models in the code. To repeat the image from the previous slide, but now by just focusing on the Decentric Enhanced Configurable Business Documents. If you want to be able to implement everything without the development, but at the same time be productive while doing it and benefit from all the docentric improvements to D365 and in particular to print destinations, then this is the solution. Notice that this is possible only with docentric full version because these models go hand in hand with docentric templates. So you won't be able to use the models, execute them, then somehow go around our document generation and then BAM go out to our improved print destinations. So if you want to benefit from all of this, you will need our full version. Let's see when and why you would decide to use one of the four possible configurations described in one of the previous slides. If you want to stick to SSRS, which is D365 standard solution before electronic reporting, Print management and print destinations work as they are supposed to. You need the developers to customize both the report data source and report document formats. You will use this solution if you are end user and have in-house developers who are experienced with the report data source and SSRS design customizations. By adding the Centric AX for D365, you get the Centric Enhanced SSRS. You will get everything that SSRS print management has to offer. In addition, you benefit from many improvements that Docentric brings to the processes around D365 document generation and distribution. And with our full version, you shift the task of designing the document formats from the developers to functional consultants and end users, because they are now using our Microsoft Word designer. You will use this if you are an end user who relies on partner for the data source customization, but you want to conveniently design your report templates. With 
the solution based on electronic reporting with configurable business documents? Well, it is now a hype and we understand that everyone wants to try it out. It has limited print management and print destinations uh, functionalities, but at least on a paper, non-developers can configure report data sources, which is great, and report document formats, which is a great idea, but non-optimal implementation. You would use this if you are end user and want to try to be independent from the partner. And this is very important if you have enough resources for learning and implementation, because you should be aware of it that it is going to last. And at the same time, you understand the print management and print destinations limitations that are a result of this architecture and they are acceptable to you. Then, if this all is true, this is for sure something to try out. It is also for many functional consultants and implementation partners because they will probably need to learn this technology and then decide if it is good for them. If you get a great training and have a lot of practice, you can become efficient. We think that uh, ER data modeling part is useful and CBDs may be useful for very limited scenarios for some really minor modifications like adding a field. As a functional consultant, you should be especially aware of print management and print destinations limitations. With the Centric Enhanced CBDs, you can configure the report data sources through electronic reporting configurations as opposed to development with SSRS. You use our great template designer. You have the print management as it was meant to be. You benefit from our improved print destinations and many other enhancements we bring around the document generation and distribution. You would use this solution if you are end user and want to be independent from the partner, but you don't want to spend a lot of time on difficult CBD designs and want to benefit from the centric enhancements. Also, if you're a functional consultant who cares about the efficient designs modifications and print management and print destination features. As a conclusion, if your scenarios require high configurability provided by the Centric Improved Print Destinations, combined with the fast implementation cycles and great user experience that come with the Centric Template Designer, then this combination is for you. At the same time, please bear in mind that some complex data source modifications can be faster achieved through programming than via ER configurations, so if you are an implementation partner and your client doesn't require using ER configurations, perhaps option number two, so the Centric Enhanced SSRS, may be more efficient. The Centric Enhanced CBDs are available only with the Centric full version and they offer the best of ER and the Centric. You will benefit from the best of both worlds, bring any custom data to the report data source through ER data model and model mapping configurations, and then design the report in the centric user-friendly time-saving designer. Finally, route the documents through SSRS and in this way benefit from the print management as you know it and use the centric improved SSRS print destinations.